Hello all and welcome back. Today I will be creating an EC2 instance uh, using Boto, Boto3. So to, uh, before we do that, uh, I need to take an uh, AMI ID. So let's me go to my AWS console and uh, select one AMI ID. So what I will do is that I will go to my EC2 page and then instances, launch instances, and let me select this particular AMI ID and I will, I will be using it to create my EC2 instance in Boto3. So let me copy it over here. AMI, AMI ID. Or maybe let me put it my AMI. And that will go. So let me put it over here. Okay, uh, one more thing on what uh, I will do is that I will create a VPC block uh, using a class C IP address. So let's see, this is my, my VPC and the block that I will be using is 192, oops, sorry, 192.168.10.0 with a CIDR of uh, slash 24, okay? And what I will also do is that I will create two subnets, my sub equals, let me have, let me create two subnets, that is 192.168.10.0 slash 28 and 192.168.10.16 slash 28. So these are the two subnets that I will be creating inside this uh, VPC over here. So now let's, uh, so how shall we do it? So let's, uh, the very first thing that I have to do is that I have to import Boto3, right? Then let's say I create an object that is my client is equal to boto three dot client and then the service that I am going to use is EC2 EC2 over here. All right. So next thing is that I will be creating the VPC. So let me so to do that what I will I will be using a method called as create underscore VPC so that will be my client dot create underscore VPC and then inside this I will put CIDR block equals so whatever I see the block that I'm going to create, I can put over here or what I will do is that, let me see, I will just put over here my VPC. Okay. So now when I, when I execute this particular script, it will create the VPC for me. Okay. And the response type for this VPC will be a dictionary so this is this is the so I've, I've noted down the response type over here so if you see over here see here the response type is a dictionary right and from this out uh, is output what i have to collect is the vpc id so that i can use it uh, while creating my subnets so to access this uh, VPC ID, what I can do is I can put it over here as VPC and then VPC ID. So this uh, should return me the VPC ID and let me put it as my VPC ID equals. So I'm just, uh, taking this VPC ID to a variable and I will be using it 
uh, this VPC ID while creating a subnet. Okay, so now let me create a subnet. So for that, what I can do is I will I can use my client dot create underscore subnet method, and then I have the CIDR block that I want CIDR block for my subnet the CIDR block that I want to assign to my subnet so that will be 192.168.10.0 slash 28 and the VPC ID VPC ID will be the VPC ID that I have collected over here. Okay, so that will be my VPC ID. Okay, so now what this will do is that this will create a subnet and the subnet block will be 192.168.10.0 with a CIDR of slash 28 inside this particular uh, vpc the, the vpc id that i have mentioned so inside this vpc it will create it will carve out one subnet with this address block right so next thing is that i will create one more subnet okay but what i will do is that i will collect this subnet id from from the second subnet that i am creating and i will be assigning it assigning I and mean, i will be using that subnet id while i am creating my ec2 instance so what we, what it will eventually do is that it will create the ec2 instance and it will in the private ip address it will assign an ip address from this particular subnet so to do that what i can do is uh, i can run the same sentence over here or the command block that i have and i can change over here 16 so now I have to capture the response type of this particular output, the output that will come from whenever I execute this particular statement, right? So now the output that it will give me will again be in a dictionary format. So to create my EC2 instance, what I have to do is that I have, I need this subnet ID. So what I will do is to access that subnet ID, what I can do is I can use two square brackets and then subnet right and then I can put subnet ID over here so this thing will return only the subnet ID of this particular statement over here and I will assign I will take that subnet I will assign this uh, value the return value to a variable called as my sub Okay. Now I have this variable where my subnet ID is there. Now let me go ahead and create the EC2 instance. So for that, what I have to do is that I will use my client dot the method run underscore instances. Okay. And I will just uh, start the instance with uh, some default uh, or mandatory parameters that is image ID equals and what I will do is that I will use this image ID over here. Let me put this thing. Okay, this one. All these things over here. Right. So I want to use this image ID that I have over here. So that will be my AMI. The next thing what I have to do is that I have to mention the instance type that will be instance type equals t2 dot micro. Next thing what I will mention is the subnet ID that is my sub. So I'm, I'm just uh, using the subnet ID that is returned to this that this variable has over here. 
the next thing what I have to do is I have to use min count the minimum number of instance that I have to create and the max number of instance that I have to create okay so apart from submit ID all uh, the instance image ID instance type and the minimum count and maximum count is mandatory over here so it is a required parameter okay so now what I will do is that I will connect to my console and let me see if I have if I already have that subnet or any EC2 instance running let me just verify that okay wait so I don't have any EC2 instance let me see if I have uh, the this VPC block already configured or not? If so, we will delete it and we will allow the script to create it once again. So if I go over here, okay, so this uh, VPC block is there. So let me go ahead and remove it. Okay, so these uh, submits are also there. So I will remove clear of everything over here, delete. Okay, so I'm left off with only the default ones, the subnets also. I'm left only with the default ones, so they all start with 172 over here. There is no VPC with 192 IP address, so pretty much looks good. Now, once I execute this code, what it will do is that it will create a VPC with 192.168.10 block and then it will create subnets right so it will create two subnet one with 192.168.10.0 and the other will be creating using 192.168.10.16 and then it will create an instance inside this particular subnet so that is what the result that i am expecting so let me run this and see what happens So let's see over here, VPC, it has created this VPC, okay, so which, which was not there earlier, now it has created two subnets as well, let me sort it out, okay, so it has created two subnets, that is 192.168.10.0 and 192.168.10.16, okay. Now let me go to EC2 instance and see if my EC2 instance has been created or not. So if I go over here and if I see, yep, my EC2 instance is created and it is in initializing state, that's okay. So now if we see over here, it has created this uh, EC2 instance inside this subnet that I have assigned that is 192.168.10.16. So, as you know, AWS reserves three IP address for itself and one IP address is used for uh, identifying the network, right? So 192.168.10.16 has been used for identifying the network. Then we have 192.168.10.17, 18 and 19, which AWS has kept for its own use. And so the next IP, next available address is 192.168.10.20 which it has assigned to this particular EC2 instance. Okay. So hopefully this uh, small video uh, helps you identify how to create an EC2 instance using uh, Boto3 and Python. See you in next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.